Hi, this is Caroline from SoCanSheet.com. I wanted to show you today a filter fabric that I received in the mail from a company called Filty.com. Now, I first found out about this filter fabric because one of my readers sent me a link to their website. This video is not an advertisement. I have not been in contact with anyone at Filty. This is just a product that I wanted to know more about, so I ordered. It took eight days from the day I ordered it until the day it arrived today. So this is the filthy fabric that I received. It is pretty thin. It's got little impressions on one side that you can see on both sides. According to Filthy, you can make 50 to 80 face masks per sheet. Each sheet here is 28 inches wide and 10 feet long. According to the Filthy Information Sheet, the Filthy Face Mask Fabric can filter out particles down to 0.3 micron at up to 95% efficiency. So this filter fabric seems really neat. Now the downside of it, I would say, is the cost. The fabric costs about $30 for a sheet, and that sheet, like I said, is 28 inches by 10 feet long. $30 for that much does sound reasonable, but then when I purchased two sheets, the shipping was $40. So my total for two sheets came to almost $100. I'm not sure how many people would be willing to pay that much for one or two sheets of this face mask filter material, but I will leave the link in the spot below if that is something that you are interested in. Now I went ahead and I made a little filter out of one of my sheets. Using the same methods that I used to make this filter, I just cut a six by eight piece and then I pleated it and folded down the top and I just stitched along the sides. If you want to see how to make this, you can see the video that I made while I was making this. Now the reason for the pleats is because when I put this inside my face mask that I made using the Olsen pattern, as I slip it inside, then I can kind of work the pleats open and it will fit nicely in the shape of the mask. Since I would like to make these two sheets go as far as I can, I'm not going to be making face masks out of them, although I'm sure you can just use these to make the pleated style face mask. Instead, I'm going to be cutting them into six by eight pieces and making just filters to go inside of the Olsen style face masks that I have made for family members and others. If you are interested in purchasing some of this filthy face mask fabric, I will put links to where I purchased it in the space below, as well as links to the pattern that I'm using to make my face masks and some other fabric recommendations and such. Please hit subscribe to this video if you'd like to see other things that I'm working on. And I just want to say thank you to all the sewists and quilters who are helping to make face masks for our community. I know that we'll all get through this together and soon we'll be back to making quilts.